The 7 a.m. bulletin from the Weather Bureau. Camille, a small but extremely dangerous storm, is now shifting westward, moving toward the Mississippi coast. On August 14, 1969, a tropical wave near the Cayman Islands turned into a major hurricane. After devastating the western tip of Cuba, it took aim at the Mississippi Gulf Coast. By Sunday, August 17th, Hurricane Camille was a powerful Category 5 hurricane with winds approaching 200 miles per hour. People on the Gulf Coast began boarding up and fleeing from the powerful storm. Tides of 15 feet are expected. All residents of the low-lying areas are advised to evacuate by noon today to Hattiesburg or Jackson. Wade Geis was the civil defense director for Harrison County. He went door to door urging people to get out. Camille made landfall on Sunday night at Pass Christiane, Mississippi. It leveled the Gulf Coast with winds over 200 miles per hour and a 24-foot storm surge. Guy said that Camille destroyed all wind gauges except a ship captain's in Gulfport who had measured Camille's winds at 238 miles per hour. It's bound to be in here somewhere because all these are the houses that came from in this vicinity. They're all right in here in this neighborhood. But mine was right on the corner, not on even the Yonder! The damage Camille caused is estimated to be nearly $10 billion in today's money. The official death toll from the storm stands at 250. 143 of those happened on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. For 16 WAPT Weather, I'm Adam McWilliams.